Perhaps you've seen these videos online. They appear to show glowing blue waves breaking on the shores of some alien beach. But this is actually San Diego. To find out exactly what's going on here, we talked to marine biologist Michael Latz at the Scripps Institution of Oceanography at the University of California, San Diego. Well, this video shows bioluminescence that is coming from a single-celled organism called a dinoflagellate. And in this case, there's really high concentrations of one species, which is called Lingolidinium polyedrum. According to Latz, this organism is known to form algal blooms commonly called red tides. These red tides are just a natural part of the ecosystem, but the challenging thing about them is that we don't understand why they occur, and we can't predict when they're going to occur. We know that there's a red tide when we actually see it. You look out on the ocean and you see during the day that the water is discolored. So it looks kind of reddish or brownish in color. But during the night, the organisms, in this case, are bioluminescent. And this is light that they emit from the cells. In the wild, bioluminescence acts like a car alarm, going off at even the slightest bump from a predator. The response by the dinoflagellate is like a reflex. So if, if it feels a certain amount of mechanical stress, then it's going to respond with light. So whether it's a predator going in for a midnight snack or the crashing of waves, a surfer or a curious kayaker, the results are the same, insanely cool, glowing water. Latz notes that while some red tides can be toxic to people, this one is harmless. You may not want to go in the water because there's a lot of organic material and you may view that as noxious, but certainly it's, it's really a delightful thing to go swimming at night and please go with somebody else to be safe, but to swim in it and just observe the bioluminescence for yourself. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Ribas, and that's Bioluminescent Waves Explained.